Well, hello, spiritual prayer warriors. Oh, man, there's so much going on in the spirit right now pertaining to all of the events in your life, in society, America, the world. But there's something specific that the Lord has been dealing with me on. Uh, this is something that I felt very, very strongly in the spirit over the last two weeks. In fact, I taught on it last Sunday, but that was a full message. Uh, I would encourage you to watch that if you haven't. In fact, I'll put a link at the end of this video. But today, I just want to approach it, reformat it, and share with you four basic principles that I see happening in the spiritual realm. Number one, the Lord is marking certain political and societal leaders with a figurative spot of leprosy on their foreheads. Now, all of this comes from Isaiah 6, the first 13 verses, but I'm just going to hit a few, summarize this, make the main points to you that I think are highly significant for us. And that is that God is bringing about and exposing and a judging on certain political and societal leaders. Now, there are many of them, I think, in the administration, first of all, of 46, the pseudo-administration, Washington, D.C. You'll find them in the other high places, spiritual high places, such as in media, entertainment, the judicial system, um, you know, the educational structure, all of those kinds of things. Uh, but the Lord said that he is beginning to mark them with leprosy. Now, that's figurative. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know whether they, they will die. I think that some of them will. Uh, but they will be exposed, and there will be a destruction that comes up on their plans, their agendas, and what they're attempting to do. And they will be exposed for the hypocrisy and for the sin and wickedness, and primarily for assuming that they can take their agenda and replace God's agenda. That's a biggie right there. Because you see, Uzziah was a king who was a righteous king for most of uh, his rule. Then when he got to the point that he built up his own head and he just felt that he was so important and he could do whatever and that he could assume himself into the things of God, he went into the temple. And the Bible says it was because of pride and he had lifted up his own heart. We have to stay out of pride and we have to stay out of strife at all costs and walk in love and walk in what God has graced us with and stay in that grace. He went in and he grabbed the incense and he began to perform a duty that was only given to the priesthood. Now we are a kingdom of priests now and so I'll explain to you what it is that I see. When he did that then the priests came running in. They were angry, wondered what was he doing. They confronted him and while they confronted him God touched King Uzziah right on the forehead with a spot of leprosy. And that leprosy, it couldn't be in the holy place of God. It couldn't be there in the temple. And so they ran him out. Now publicly, he was exposed. His sin brought that mark upon him. He then had to live in a house by himself until his death. What I'm saying is that the Lord has been telling me that 2022 is actually a year where there are many politicians, there are many societal leaders, there are many that God is going to touch with a form, figuratively, of leprosy. It will expose them. It will show their true intent, where the heart is really at, in a public forum, and it will disempower their ability to cause that to rule and subjugate people according to their will. And most of that, by the way, is because they are prompted and motivated and led by that ruling political spirit of Jezebel. And so God is going to do that. I see it happening. I see it coming upon this pseudo-administration, 46. Uh, I see that I, I, I'm not speaking death on anyone, and perhaps there will be some deaths, but the most important thing the Lord was saying is that that spiritual leprosy will leave a mark on them. 
Those who are spiritual will know and will understand it and see it, but it will begin to break their power. You know, in Isaiah 6.1, like I said, the year that King Uzziah died, he said, I saw the Lord sitting on his throne high and lifted up. In other words, while this is happening to Uzziah and while this is happening in 2022 in America, we'll still see the life and the power and the Lord sitting on his throne high and lifted up with his train filling the temple and moving and flowing in our lives. This is a dynamic thing that's happening. Wow. Number two, the Lord is offended by those believers who use their mouths to agree with the enemy's words. You see, in verse 5, Isaiah said, Woe is me. He said this before the Lord, For I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips. Unclean lips, unclean heart. Because out of the mouth, or out of the heart, the mouth speaks. And so he recognized his imperfections. Now, one of the things I want you to see is that if you have already been saved, if you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, then spiritually you are a new creation in Christ. But there's another part of your heart, because your heart actually is the inner man, and the inner man is comprised of the spirit and also of the spiritual aspect of what we call the mind. To be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. So it's those thoughts, it's those things that you consume. There are a lot of believers that have been consuming things of the enemy, things of the world, so much so that they don't have any spirit, spiritual importance in bringing about the things of the kingdom of God. They're working more and speaking more in line with the devil. You know, they're just running around all day, and they're consumed with, with what the news media is saying and what the next conspiracy theory is on the Internet and, and all this kind of stuff, and they're taking and they're eating and they're swallowing all of that and coming down into their bellies, and then they're just running around and regurgitating all that verbiage and all that doubt and unbelief and, and all this stuff that has nothing to do with God and what God has said. That's what I'm talking about. And the Lord said that he was offended by them using their mouths that way because they were agreeing with the devil and agreeing with the world rather than seeking the Lord. And so it's very important for us to heed that and to hear what the Lord is saying right now. That brings me to point number three. In verse six, then one of the seraphim flew to me, Isaiah says, having in his hand a live coal, which the Lord, or he had taken, with the tongs from the altar, and he touched my mouth with it. In other words, a cleansing. The Lord said that he's bringing a cleansing, that angels have been commissioned to cleanse the lips and hearts of God's prophetic people who have a willing heart. Those that want it. I think that all of us want it. If you're a follower of this ministry, then it's because you have a heart after the same things that we do. We want to serve God with purpose. It doesn't mean that you are perfect on the outward. It doesn't mean that you never make mistakes. That's not it. It's that we have to come to that point to where we realize third heaven authority is in the mouth. And God wants us to speak it. Point number four. In verse eight. It says, also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, here am I, send me. Part, number four, part of the February launch was a question from the Lord. Who will go? It is a call to go deeper into the spirit and to walk in third heaven authority. It is a call for us to rise up. And I know most of you. I know that you are prayer warriors. I know that you won't give up. I know that you are absolutely tearing the devil a new one. 
and I want to big deal that. I'm so proud of you, and the Spirit of the Lord is just absolutely moving. He's going to reward you in every area of your life. But there are many of you that are watching this video right now that you haven't really heard these kind of things, and you're a Christian. You believe God. Maybe you've been filled with the Holy Spirit. You speak in tongues. You, you move in the gifts. You just love the presence of God in your life and the glory of God and how it flows. But you haven't really come to that place to where you have become an active part of the lion's army, the lion of the tribe of Judah, where you give yourself to intercession. You bring forth prophetic decrees and you state things in the spirit and you move in might in the spiritual realm to change things, binding the things of the enemy, loosing the things of God on planet earth. I would encourage you to step up into that place because God is saying that he has put a call for us to rise up, a call upon our lives. There's so many good things that are happening right now. We look at the, the bad things. It would be so easy to say, oh, wow, wow, the world is full of evil. The world is also full of the glory of God. It's full of the goodness of God. It's full of his power and his majesty. It's in me. It's in you. And it is flowing throughout the earth. God cares about you. I want you to know that. God cares about you. He's not just trying to call you up so you do all these things for him. Of course, he has assignments. We are the ecclesia. We are the ones that bind and loose and adjudicate heaven on the face of the earth. But it's only after that he has saved us, filled us with his spirit, brought his love, his covenant into our heart. He looks into your life and he wants to bless you even more than you want his blessing. He loves you. You matter. And he will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. So I want to pray for you right now. This prayer is for encouragement, but it's also for the cleansing of our lips. The angel wants to touch our lips with a coal of fire. And that's figuratively, because as he touches you, I've had the Lord do that to me. He took me to third heaven. And in one of my visits there, the Lord was talking to me about that third heaven authority assignment. And an angel came over and touched my lips with his fingers. And when he did, I felt like a warm honey go into my mouth, down my throat and into my belly. It warmed me and inspired me. It encouraged me. It empowered me. And it gave me the conviction, the passion to just go forward being a warrior, operating in third heaven authority and teaching other people how to do it with great victory in their lives. I want to pray that for you now. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for every single person watching this video who has a willing heart, who according to what you have shared with me in this vision, this word, will yield themselves and say, in the same year, Lord God, that you are bringing that leprosy against the certain political and societal leaders to expose them and to judge them for their unrighteousness. Look at me and judge my righteousness, my righteousness of heart. But I've still made mistakes in my thinking and my attitude and I haven't spoken all the right things. Forgive me. Now I receive the angel's touch to touch my lips. Cleanse my lips, but let it go down in like warm honey to the cleansing of my heart, my mind, all that I am, my whole being. And yes, I hear the call. Who will go? I'll go. I answer the call. I'll go. Lord God, I pray with your people now for an anointing 
to hit them. Hit them right now in their hearts. Heal their bodies. I release healing into their bodies. I release prosperity into their finances. I release love. It's the Holy Spirit that does it. But I pray for that release now. And those that reach out and grab it, you grab it right now. You grab it. It's yours. Clean lips. Clean heart. Righteous words of authority and love and grace to destroy the enemy and to build the kingdom of God into your family, your ministry, your city, your nation, everyone you come into contact with. For this is the year we take back America. This is the year that God shows himself strong. This is the year that he disempowers the evil work of that ruling political spirit of Jezebel and begins to expose publicly. Let the spiritual leprosy come upon them. I pray that. That's bold of me. But the Lord said he was doing it. So I'm just in agreement with his heart, with his words with what he is doing in the name of Jesus Christ. You are so special. CK and I love you. Thank you for being our partners. If you're not a partner, then I would encourage you to do two things. Right at the end of this video, you'll see number one, that there is a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Number two, there's a video for watching last Sundays preaching, full in-depth preaching on this subject. But I guess the third one I said to is in the description. You'll find a link to our website and you can go to our website, check things out there. And then if your heart is moved by the spirit of God, become a partner by going to the secure donation page and supporting us. And we'll pray for you and encourage you. And we'll all walk through these trying but very victorious days in 2022. God bless.